leaving to have seen the Christmas lights switched on in London today, but it's been more like summer as far as the temperatures are concerned. 18 degrees in some spots, that's 64 Fahrenheit, and some more very mild weather to come. We're going to keep those southwesterly winds. The trouble is they're going to bring across frontal systems every now and again, and that means belts of cloud and rain. One such clawing its way across the middle of the country at lunchtime tomorrow. And that's where it is at the moment, the rain across the middle of Ireland, and we can pick up the cloud that goes with it, quite a thick band of black cloud across the west of the country. Mix the two together, here's the cloud and here's the rain, and the whole lot marches steadily forwards during the course of tonight and through tomorrow. Clearer weather following along behind with some showers, and then a little pocket of rain to run across southern counties overnight tomorrow. But as far as tonight's concerned, it's going to be a sort of misty, murky night, I think, in most parts of the country. Some fog lapping in around many of those western and southern coasts, over the hills too, and some drizzly bits and pieces of rain scattered around as well. And we've got that heavier rain now working its way from Ireland. It's going to come across into western parts of England, Wales, into western Scotland as the night goes on, and that clearer weather following along behind. But it is everywhere going to be a mild night. And then tomorrow, well, for Northern Ireland, sunshine and showers really right from the word go. All other parts of the country, a good deal of cloud, will have that uh, band of rain in those more western parts. As the day wears on, that rain edging further and further eastwards, fizzling out all the while, so that by the time it gets to the southeastern corner there, not very much left. And following along behind, much brighter weather with some sunshine, although there'll be a scattering of showers, and some of those showers near to western coast could be fairly heavy, but as I say, not much in the way of brightness ever reaching the extreme southeast. As for temperatures, another very mild day virtually everywhere, fairly breezy too, not as mild as it was today, but 14 degrees there is a healthy 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Looking further ahead, the changeable weather really persists. We're going to find it stays mild, if nothing else, but a mixture of showers around on Wednesday, some more persistent rain coming up from the southwest late in the day. That moves out, and then more follows on Thursday. I am your home, if you ever arrive. I am dead. I am also alive. The myth of the Green Man is the focus of Omnibus on Friday, which explores this mysterious figure from his ancient roots to his emergence as a potent symbol for present-day artists. I was intrigued by the mystery of what the Green Man is. He became, for me, um, something of a personal god. The Return of the Green Man, Omnibus, Friday at 10.20 on BBC One. Now, on one, Michael Crick introduces this week's Panorama. When the Chancellor, John Major, took Britain into Europe's exchange rate mechanism, he told industry to hold down pay or face bankruptcies and unemployment. But already, British pay rises are way above our European competitors. Tonight, Panorama examines the unpleasant side effects of Mr Major's medicine. Stocking and tight makers from the East Midlands show off the designs they hope will soon grace the legs of European women.